Hi everyone, it's the Chang here, doing a follow-up video to the uh, color fill video I did for magazines a little bit earlier. Now we're going to talk about doing color fill on your firearm. Uh, I'm going to be putting this on a Glock 19 uh, Umarex Glock 19 BB gun. Um, I do have a video <coughs> review out on that right now on the uh, YouTube channel here. I'll put a link to, the, to that in the description. Also, we went through a very, very detailed video on how to do your magazines. You see them over here. Um, I'll put a link to that description in the description as well. We're using the same method. We're actually also using the same material. I've got my, my base coat, my color. Uh, my clear coat and my non acetone nail polish remover. So, what I'm going to do again is uh, it's really important to prep the surface correctly. So, I'm going to use this non acetone nail polish remover um, on a small square of paper towel. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and we're going to work on this Glock 19 and this Austria, Austria engraving. So, I'm just going to prep the slide right here. Um, I'm going to do it on this side as well. That little little Glock logo there. I'll do that as well. Um, maybe the the serial number here. All right. So get that cleaned off. Go ahead and let that dry. I want to hit that with some um, some base coat here, and I'm going to try to apply as light of a coating as I can. Um, I don't want the engraving to be entirely filled with uh, the, uh, the base coat because I do want some color in there, but I do want to make sure I have some base coat in there. What we're going to do is let that dry and we'll be back um, for the next. All right, the base coat is now dry, so using a clean paper towel and some more of this uh, non-acetone nail polish remover, I'm going to start working on uh, just gently stripping off the excess base coat, um, trying to make sure I don't pull anything out of the crevices here. I'm making sure I flip the paper towel to not spread any of the excess that I've pulled out. I don't want to spread any of that around. So once I'm done that, I'm going to let the acetone, or the non-acetone, the nail polish remover, I'm going to let that dry. And then um, now it's time for uh, my color. So I'm going to go ahead and get some color on here. It's a little bit much. Get some color on here. Make sure it lays in the engraving. All right. And then... Um, all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to have to wait for that to dry and go ahead and do that same procedure like we were taking off the base coat. So we'll let this dry and I'll be back. Okay, so we've let the, uh, the color dry. Hopefully I have enough in there um, to fill in the engraving. The firearms are actually much easier to do in the magazines just because the engraving is much deeper. Um, so we're going to go through that same method to remove the uh, surface coloring. We're going to use a fresh paper towel with uh, the non-acetone nail polish remover and we're just going to work that part of the slide here. Again, I'm not pressing so hard that I'm actually pulling things out of the engraving, but um, just on the surface stuff that's sticking up above the engraving and then I also want to make sure that I keep moving this to a clean area otherwise I'll be pushing this stuff around the slide and there we go all right we're going to do the other side here Get this to a clean part of the paper towel here. And then go ahead and get this little logo as well. And we got part of that logo. We're gonna correct that later. Now we're gonna let this evaporate here. 
and uh, we're going to go ahead and get our clear coat onto this uh, part of the slide here. And I'm going to be fairly generous with this stuff. Uh, again, we can always remove the excess, um, and this is to protect the color uh, that you've put into the engraving so that uh, when you clean your firearm, you will uh, not be removing the color or having to redo the color all the time. Now, uh, I realized I didn't go through this right at the beginning. Um, of the video. I did say that this was a BB gun. Uh, I want you to notice the slide does not reciprocate um, and I just grabbed the wrong part of the slide here and it is a BB gun um, so it, it is not loaded. There are no BBs in here. So just so you all know in terms of gun safety um, this this quote-unquote firearm which is actually not even though it looks like one uh, is technically safe. So we're going to let this dry. Um, I did kind of mess it up. I put my fingers on it. So we're going to let this dry and uh, we'll show you the removal process uh, to knock down the uh, clear coat. All right, so the uh, clear coat is dried. We're going to try to get rid of uh, some of the excess we put on just uh, for cosmetic reasons. So if you look at it, you're going to see uh, Right there around that Glock, you see there's excess. Around the serial number, you see there's excess. So we're just going to very gently take that non-acetone nail polish remover on a clean, fresh paper towel. We're gonna to just go ahead and get rid of that excess, all right? And again, over here, you can see all that excess around the uh, larger graphics there. And I'm just going to gently pull away some of that again I'm flipping my paper towel back and forth trying not to push any uh, clear coat around that's already been taken off but this is I'm going to be very very gentle with this because I the clear coat I really do want to protect the color and the engraving and if I press a little too hard I'm going to definitely be pulling out not only the clear coat but I'll start pulling out the color as well so that's about as far as I would take it. It's not perfect, um, but this should give you a decent idea of what, uh, what it's going to look like. So that's it. Um, bonus thing too here, you see that, that dot on the front side? We can actually, if you wanted to, put a little dot of green on there just for a little bit of contrasting color when you're on the targets. Uh, if you are obviously working with your regular firearm. Night sights are gonna be best, but that's just a temporary uh, measure that can help you identify your front sight a little bit quicker. So, uh, there you go. That's how you put uh, color into the engraving on your firearm. It doesn't have to be a Glock, it could be any firearm that has some engraving in there. So if this you found this helpful, please give the video a like. I uh, would love for you to subscribe. If you wanna see more tech tips, um, go ahead and click that bell icon too as well so you'll see when uh, we get new videos up and running. Follow us on Instagram and on Facebook, Instagram CDC LLC, and uh, on Facebook also CDC LLC. Uh, we have weekly training tips uh, that we put out there. So everyone stay safe and uh, see you out on the range.